we're going to make some 3D art in Desmos. And here's our finished project right here. I decided to make a yin yang symbol because you really only need to use circles and a few inequalities, but you have to get the ordering correct in order for things to show up nicely as they are right here. So here's the finished product. You could just pause the video, type all this stuff in if you want, but I'm gonna show you how I made this. So the first thing you need is a reference image. So I've already downloaded that and that's in my desktop right here. I'm gonna drag it over and I am using Firefox here. I found that that works really well for a lot of things that I do. Now. You can decide how you want to center this image. Um, I, on the way I scaled it is so it just went to three and negative three on the X and Y axis. And so you can just play around with these. I want it to be smaller. So if I do five and five, it's a little bit smaller than I want, but whatever scale you want, I think I did 6.25 and 6.25. I'm moving around with tab. And that gets me without clicking on the mouse, moves me around over here. Now, opacity is how dark this is. If you do zero, it'll be invisible. 0.5 will be uh, halfway visible. I find 0 0.5 to be pretty good so I can see things on top of this. Now, I'm gonna start with a circle. Hopefully, you remember it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And you usually have this equals R squared. All right. You do want to add sliders here. And we're going to look at the color first. There's no choice for white. So that's why you saw my finished product. The white parts are actually blue. And <clears throat> I'm going to do that here as well. So I'm going to keep the white parts blue. This is just my reference right here. So I'm going to do this in red. And this is now just a uh, exterior of a circle. If you want to fill it in, you're going to have to put a less than here. And if you do less than, it's a dotted line on the outside. So I'm going to do less than or equal to. And all I did is I typed the less than key and then the equal to key. You can get the keyboard up if that uh, is easier for you. I don't know how well this is going to work on a phone. Uh, but I am using uh, Firefox on Windows here. All right. X and Y are the usual X, Y coordinates. H, K, and R, those are constants, and they're controlled. If you notice, I hit Add Slider button. So if you just type it in, you can add the slider for one or all of these. <clears throat> the value defaults to one. And this lets me quickly play around with different values and see what happens. So I do need to do the eyes, but I'm gonna kind of work outside to inside. So I want this circle to be centered at zero, zero. That's the H is the X center coordinate, K is the Y center coordinate. Radius, I could type in three. And if you notice, this is going in one tenth increments. So 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5. 3 I can change that with a step. So it's defaulted to 0.1, but you may need more accuracy. So I'm gonna do 0 0.01 and that will let me get more accurate as I, well, it doesn't seem to be getting more accurate. I also don't need the radius. The radius defaults negative 10 to 10. That's what the sliders do. You don't need a negative radius. So zero will be the smallest I need. You could probably get away with like one half as the smallest. Now the largest, is something close to three. I might need to go a little bigger than three. So let's do like 3.2. And that'll be a little bigger than I need, but that's fine. I'm trying to emulate the outer line, the big outer circle here. All right, obviously I need to change the color. Let's not worry about that for now, but I don't wanna have a fill. So I need to go zero on the fill. This is the opacity of the fill. but let's not worry about that at the moment either. The line thickness, I'm gonna need to make that thicker. 
But overall, I'm pretty happy with the shape. So what I want to do now is duplicate this, but I'm going to type in values for H, K, and R. So I'm copying. I'm going to paste it down here. Now I'm going to hide the original. Now, if you just leave these as H, K, and R, when you mess around with these values, it's the same H, K, and R. So what I'm going to do is go in and plug in, actually type the values that are here. If you want, you can delete the minus zero, but I'm going to leave it in in case I want to change these later. Okay. I don't need to fill this in, so there's a couple options. I could just do equals, and that's one way to not fill it in. With that less than, it's everything less than or on the inside of the circle. And less than or equal to makes the solid uh, line at the boundary. So a couple things I could just fill with zero. That's one option. And I eliminated the inside. I want to make this black. And I want to make the line thicker. So try five. It needs to be thicker. Six, seven, eight. All right. I think seven. Seven or eight is good. doesn't have to be perfect. If you really... You just want to warn you, if when you zoom in, the thickness of your image up here is going to change, but the line that you drew won't get thicker. So keep that in mind. If you zoom uh, in or out, the thickness of your original image will change a bit. So you really want to just try to not zoom in and out too much. So I'm pretty happy with this. I can make it invisible, visible. So it looks good. Okay, so I have the outer circle. Now, let's go ahead and do these two inner circles here. And I'm just gonna do the top circle for now. So I'm gonna make the original visible again. Sometimes it's, it's better to hide what you just hard coded in, the numbers you just typed in, but I'm gonna leave it in there. So I know for sure I need to make a smaller radius. So let's do that. I need to move this up, so that's the minus k so i need to move the k value up now i also can change the minimum maximum and step i don't need to go past negative three and three and the step i'll do 0 0.01 although that didn't really work so well last time h is same negative three to three 0 0.01 whoa 0 0.01 okay so that'll give me a little bit more fine control so I'm just trying to center it right here. And you can zoom in. You may have to type in the value to get something a little more accurate. So that's pretty well centered. Definitely need a bigger radius. All right. This is just a filled in point right here. So we'll worry about the coloring of this in a minute. So now I'm gonna copy and paste and it gives me the hk and r so i'm going to type in 0.04 if you did this the same order as me your h is first your k is second and your r is third so k 1.52 r 0.4 all right now we're going to worry about the colors uh i don't need, let's see, I'm going to fill it with one. That means it's fully uh, opaque or n not transparent at all. Uh, notice, I don't really need the line. So you could go to zero. Uh, now, why did it turn red? Because what I'm seeing is actually this red right there. So let me turn that red off. So. I'm just focused on this one here. I'm long, I'm left clicking, but I'm holding it down to get this menu up here. I probably should have said that earlier. All right, we're gonna make it fully, oops, fully filled in. And you also have the option to not even have lines and just have a fill. And that might be easier on uh, most of the images we're gonna draw here. All right, so I feel pretty good about that. If you do need to edit these, like let's say you need to move it up or down a little bit, you're gonna have to go and type in the coordinates 
that you want to change from now on once you've hard-coded numbers in here. Okay, so that's the top circle. Now we're going to shoot for the bottom circle. A couple ways to do it. Uh, I could play around with these values. And one easy way to do it, let me make that visible, invisible. I could make these negative, just put a minus sign in front. And I think the H actually, we leave it as is. All right, so that's pretty good. It needs to be up a little higher though. Your image probably won't be perfect or perfectly centered as you'll find out. Uh, so if that annoys you, I don't know what to say. You can make this radius a little smaller. All right, it's pretty good. We can fine tune this in a minute. So again, I'm gonna copy and paste. Of course, change this. Now my second color, I'm gonna do blue. And I don't need an outer line. And I'm gonna fill it with opacity one so you won't be able to see anything else. Hide the red. That's actually really good right there. That's almost perfect. You could make it a little bit bigger, the radius a little bigger, but that's good enough. All right, off to a good start. How in the world are we gonna do this weird curve shape? That's much more tricky. And what I'm gonna do, the left half of the circle, I want to be blue. So here's the full circle. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here. And, oh, no, undo, control Z. All right, I only want the left half here. So I'm gonna use these curved brackets or curly brackets. What is the left half? All right, that's what happens if you do y less or equal to zero. That's the bottom half. Maybe you do want the bottom half, but what is going on? All right, what I wanna do is x. That's the left half. I don't want any boundary on this. So that's, oops. I could turn this off, uh, the boundary off, or I could just change this to zero thickness or opacity to zero. It's up to you. A few ways to achieve it. All right. I do want this to be fully opaque, so the fill is one. Now we got a problem. All right, what's happening here is the ordering is messed up. So I want the outer circle to render on top of the blue. So how do I fix that? The order matters here. And that's the outer circle. So the outer circle needs to be underneath this left half. So here's the outer circle. I'm gonna drop it under the left half and look what just happened. The outer circle is now on top of the inner. Okay. That takes care of the left half. Now I want to do the right half, which is basically the same thing. Control A to cop, uh, select all. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. I want to flip my inequality. I want zero line thickness and I want a full opaqueness, but I want black. Come on. All right, now notice because it's the same color, it doesn't matter what's on top or bottom, but for consistency, I want to put this on the bottom. All right, things are getting complicated and we need labels. So we're gonna do that now. Add an item, you're adding a note. So this is the outer uh, the edge. All right, which one's the outer edge? It's the one that's on the bottom right now, right there. So that's the outer edge. You can always click a couple times to make it flash. So that's the outer edge. Now, these are the halves right here. So we need to label those. So again, add item note. Uh, if I could spell. Habs, hopefully that's the right, Habs. All right, so I'm labeling, putting the label above the items. Okay, hopefully you notice my eyes disappeared. Again, that's an ordering issue. So let's do another note for eyes. Note eyes. All 
All right, if you just hit enter, it gives you an expression, which would be the same thing as typing, uh, clicking and hitting expression. So that's kind of the default here. All right, which ones are the eyes? Those are, uh-oh, what is happening? All right, I'm gonna hide. Here's the left, right halves, left half, right half, perfect. Outer edge. All right, we need to hide the halves. So now it's easier to know which one's the halves. All right, eyes. All right, that's the bottom eye, but notice I did not hard code it yet. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna drag these to where the eyes are and we're gonna hard code them. So one of the eyes already hard coded. This one needs to be hard coded. Good news, the values are right here on the screen because I didn't change them. This is why you could do Y minus minus 1.5. Of course, minus minus is a plus. R 0.4. All right, so now things are looking great. Well, what's happening? Well, it's the order issue again. We gotta draw the eyes under or after the halves. So I'm gonna move the halves up and that should start fixing things. All right, we're getting there. Looks great so far. Let's go ahead and cover the halves. Okay, I'm gonna do the lower circle right here. It may be hard to see, but I'm basically gonna make a larger eye. I'm gonna take that bottom eye, I'm gonna make the radius much bigger so that it covers, it's kinda of hard to see, but it's gonna cover this circle down here. I could do a left half circle, but I'm just gonna do a whole circle and I'm doing this in black. So I'm starting with the eye copy. Uh, let's add another note. So this is going to be the outer eye. And this will be inner. Inner eyes, outer eyes. Okay. So I need an expression. Paste. All right. This does need to be black. Zero line thickness. And I need to be a much bigger radius. So a couple options. I could just type R and then I could run up here and I can drag the R value until it's big enough. If I don't like, so I don't really like how this is centered. I could, let's see, this is where organization comes in. This is the outer eye, the black outer eye. It's the X coordinate right here. So I'll do X minus H. And now I can run up to H and play around with the H value, the horizontal value. And that's actually quite good right there. I like that. I feel like the inner eye is not certain, not centered, but that's the way the original image came in. So I'm not here to make the original image better, although you're welcome to. Okay. So we better type those values in. So we do need to do some scrolling here. M minus point zero one. Radius is 1.5.5. All right. What's wrong? Opaqueness is not one. All right. What's wrong now? Why is that covering? Because I drew the outer eyes after the inner eyes. So the inner eyes need to be lower. There we go. So that's the bottom one. Let's do the top circle in blue now. So that's next to the outer eyes. I'm gonna go plus expression. Now, I have this one already. Let's copy and paste. Uh, feel free to go plus. All right, I'll leave it purple for a second. I definitely want to eliminate the outer line. All right, so I turned off the bottom one. What needs to change? Well, the Y coordinate needs to flip. So instead of Y plus, it should be Y minus. Now you'll see if the image is perfect or not. It's not quite perfect. So a couple options. I could just play around with this. 
I could do four. So 1.45 needs to be a little bigger. 1.49, that's a little bigger, maybe eight. All right, you could really spend some time here. Make it a little bigger, nine. All right, you see the radius isn't perfect. So you gotta decide how much of a perfectionist you are. And only you can answer that. So radius needs to be a little bigger. And it may annoy you that this radius is bigger than the other radius, but that's okay. Zero, five, four, three, four. All right, we're getting pretty small variance here. That's pretty good. Okay, now of course I need to change the opacity to one and this should be blue. All right, because of where I put it again, the inner eye, you can see it because it's above. So I just moved it below and if I switch the order, that's the eyeball or the inner eye. So this is the outer eye needs to go up here. So there's the bottom. So these are good. Now the halves, left half, right half. If you order this correctly, this will be your uh, final result. Okay, so some other things you can do. Uh, I use basically entirely circles and some inequalities. You could of course use quadratics, polygons. There's a whole bunch of other uh, types of graphs you can use here. Uh, if I wanna make these eyes half, Let's see, now because I label these are inner eyes, let's say I wanna do like the left half, I would do in here uh, x less than or equal to zero, that'll give me the left half. Now, if the top half, you might think, oh, it's y. But no, y is not less than, it is y, but it's not less than zero. If you look, 1.52 is the y value. So that'll be the bottom half of the eye. <laughs> Looks like it's a little tired. Uh, you could change this if you wanted like more, depending on what you're going for. So you can play around with that. All right, but this should, should give you a good yin yang symbol. All right, everything is labeled. Let's give the final product a label. So if you click somewhere, and then go plus, so I clicked above and I'm gonna do note. Yin yang symbol. All right. Uh, these right here, depending on what your final goal is, you may wanna delete all of these ones up here. Uh, you just hit the X button, it'll take them out. Uh, you probably should make this invisible just to make sure that what you're seeing is from your equations and inequalities and not from the original image. Uh, but I was pretty sure I put mine on top of that. Um, I think if I drag it down, it will... Okay, I guess it won't render on top. Or it could be rendering white as transparent. All right, that's not something we need to worry about. So I'm gonna leave this here, but I'm gonna make it invisible. All right, when you're done and you want to submit this, you if you have an account, the save button will be here, but if you don't have a Desmos account, save button's not there. However, you can still share the graph. When you hit share, whatever you're seeing at that moment is going to be contained in this link. You're gonna copy that and maybe you need to submit that. Uh, maybe you need to print it, export. I'm not sure what you need to do with this, but if you want to come back to this, you can save, copy this link and save it somewhere safe. And you can always come back and it should load up uh, where you left off right here. All right, one thing that's bothering me, this is not perfect right here. So you could fix that. I think I played around with a little, for a little while to make the inside of this thing perfect. Now, how perfect is it? It's good enough. Is it perfect, perfect? Yeah. Good enough. Okay.
So hopefully that helped you out. And go ahead, like, and share the video if you think this will help other people. Thanks for watching.